Hi there, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, last fall we spent a couple of months talking about identity, and it's really a critical thing. And once you start looking at identity, it keeps popping up all the way around you because it's so much of our behavior and our world is tied up in that. Well, I've been really reflecting a lot on this core, the core self. And what I see is that so many of the problems that we encounter in human behavior and in leadership development are directly related to a person's view of themselves, their core self. So I'm working on a model, and I'd like you to think about this model, and you could send us in your ideas. But on one side, we have inadequate feelings, insecure, unworthy, those kind of feelings. Now, we all get there sometimes. On the opposite side of the continuum is this confident person who feels worthy, this self, let's call it a self, that feels worthy, that feels adequate, and is willing to take risk and fail because they are okay with themselves. They figure they can sort that out and live with it. And they don't have to impress anybody. Whereas this person over here may be worried about impressing people and looking good and all those kind of things, the behaviors that kind of get us in trouble cause us to get in our own way. Maybe you've seen some leaders lately that uh, are very successful, and yet they keep getting in their own way. Well, usually that goes back to this side over here, these feelings of inadequacy, insecurity, trying to prove themselves to others. Now, the reality is nobody lives completely over here, and probably not many people live completely over here. Most of us are on this continuum sliding back and forth during the day, and if we slide over here, we slide over here. What we want to do is advance ourselves and others further to the right of being more confident. So that's kind of our goal. Well, let's talk about this for a second. Personally, feelings of inadequacy. Now, as a fighter pilot, I was a combat veteran experience. I had over 53 combat missions in Vietnam, 53 actually over the north. I was on my 53rd when I was shot down and captured. So I was pretty, felt good, pretty good in that role. But as a POW, I'd wasn't. Uh, i been had some training, but there's nothing like the fear of walking that path of being alone uh, in a POW camp, uh, communist interrogators, torture going on in the camp and coming your way. Those are uh, some real feelings of inadequacy that I was facing. And being a 24-year-old kid, the average guy was there about 30, uh, there was some maturity that I still lacked there of growing up and experience and all so on. Well, I did a good job, but there was feelings of inadequacy were certainly there, and they impacted some of my behaviors. Sometimes I was immature. Now, more recently, I've written several books, but sometimes when I sit down to write, I've been working on one this fall, and I'm sitting down to write, and it's like, you can't do this. You're not good enough. I mean, what are you going to say to those people that's going to be, they might laugh at this, you know? What do you have to say? And maybe you have something to say, but eh, maybe you can't say it so well. All those little lies pop up and I have to fight them down. Fortunately, I've been through this drill before and I know that I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do it. And that belief is so important. It's what I use to fight out the lies. And I think that's true for all of us. We have to, we have to believe, even believing what others believe in us. I mean, you wouldn't be at the table if people didn't believe in you. So you have to rest on that and accept it and allow that to give you enough confidence to feel secure and not insecure, to feel safe. So personally, that's one, one of the applications I want you to think about of self and believing in yourself. The other piece of that is with the team. It's when our behaviors, when we feel inadequate, when we have fears and doubts like that, what's going to happen is we're going to do something stupid. We're going to get in our own way. We're going to withhold information so that we can play those cards just at the right time and impress others with how sharp we are. We're going to make jokes when we shouldn't be making jokes. We struggle by uh, getting attention in all sorts of ways. And the It just really undermines our performance. It undermines our relationships. But we're doing it because we want to manipulate the situation or pretend or pose in the situation to get others' attention and show them that we really are okay. Well, that doesn't work. And you know it doesn't, and I know it doesn't. So how do we combat that? Again, it goes back to that simple belief in yourself. 
Take time this month to sit down and reflect on who you are and come to grips with the real you, that core self, and be okay with self. I'm not talking about narcissism here. I'm talking about accepting yourself and believing in yourself for the good and the bad. Be objective about it, and that's good enough. We just want people to be genuine. We want our teammates to be genuine. And when you're genuine, it really works well. You don't have to be perfect. So th that's dealing with ourselves. The other piece as a leader, an influencer, or parent, your job is to affirm those around you. Help them feel valued. Help them feel worthy. And your words have so much power to do that. And you can be specific. With, give them examples to show them about their worthiness and help them feel secure. Because when you do that, you equip them for the battles of life. You equip them to be a good teammate, to take on tough challenges and succeed. You build resilience because they believe in themselves. I encourage you to do that. Make it part of your mission to encourage others. Speak into their lives. You never know whose life is going to be totally turned around by a couple of sentences that you say. You're giving them a vision of who they are and who they can be. It's so powerful. So this month, remember, encourage and believe in yourself, encourage and believe in others, and you're going to make a difference in yourself and those other selves out there that are important to you. God bless and have a good month.